Fishing is an extremely fun skill to level up, making tons of money and taking a fairly small amount of time to max out. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Fishing is painful. While not hard to max out, it takes an insane amount of time, most of that being staring at lava for hours on end, hoping to get a blue fish. And the money, it's, well, mediocre to say the least. And that is why today I will be spending $500 on a maxed fishing setup. Fellas, I just chugged a monster and it's time to waste some money. Perfect start to a video. My hands are shaking. So we just need to visit store.hypixel.net, go over to Skyblock Gyms, and oh, it already logged me in. And I think we're just gonna start off, uh, add to cart, $100. I think we're gonna start off with maybe 400 I don't know if that'll be enough. Hopefully it'll be enough. And, oh, yep, so we got big old number. And yeah, just proceed to check out. Now, of course, as your local refraction simp, we, of course, need to use code REFRACTION. I mean, it's like the only creator code I can use. It, ju it just is amazing. And, yep, time to dox myself, I suppose. And then we're gonna use PayPal, because, you know, I gotta write this off as a business expense. And I don't have a debit card with my business account. And complete purchase. There we go. Order complete. Thank you for your payment of 370 5596 USD. You'll automatically receive your purchase products shortly. Uh, and there it is. Your package of 16,400 Skyblock gems has been processed and delivered. We've got a couple of gems to spend. Now, there is actually a fire sale going on right now. And I figured, you know, probably best to invest in this because it's going to be better gems to coins ratio, all that. Let me just swap lobbies so I can get my gems. Before we get into it, though, I'm getting extremely close to 28,000 subscribers. And if I can hit that within three days of this video being up, as well, as 2,000 likes on this video, I will give away hundred and seventy seven million coins. Guild has decided my fate. So make sure to join my Discord server and comment your IGN down below since I will be giving away half of it in my Discord server and half of it in the comments section. Oh yeah, also go follow me on Twitter for such amazing tweets as FNAF Movie Time featuring a can of monster and perks of dating me. There aren't any. Run away. There's also miscellaneous video previews and stuff on there if you care. Anyway, back to the video. And there we go. I have 65,000 gems. So I want to see what this skin is going for right now. Fire sale just started, so it is going for, okay, about 35 million coins. So average fire sale, meaning it's going to be better to buy this than cookies. So let me just, yeah, fill my inventory with these. All right, so we have a full inventory, and we still have 35,000 gems left. Uh, let's get these listed. So I list one for 35 mil. It should hopefully be almost instantly bought. Never mind, it looks like they're going for 34 mil now. Sure, whatever. The one bad thing about fire sales and, you know, buying these is, is that it can take a little while for these to sell. Meanwhile, booster cookies, I can just kind of sell them whenever, however, and whatever. I think that monster that I chugged is affecting my brain. I right, one of them just sold, so I think 33.9 is what we should be listing them for for the most part. So I just did the math and apparently buying cookies, it's about 30 mil. So if these drop below 30 mil, then I may have messed up. I must say these skins are not selling very well. I mean, I have 200 mil in here to claim so far, uh, but I'm thinking it might just be better to buy booster cookies with the rest of the gems that I've got because these are going to be a pain to sell. And even then they're not much better than cookies. Yeah, prices are dropping. This is unfortunate. So while I'm waiting for the rest of these skins, to sell, which may take a little bit considering they're being bought very rarely because, you know, it's a tarantula helmet skin. It's kind of a mid-game thing. Those kinds of players don't really have the money to be spending on skins. We're just going to take the rest of my gems right here and we're going to throw it all into cookies. So, yep, buy 12 and 6. And let's see here. What are the differences in prices? 133 and 135. Yeah, we're just going to sell off of them. I can wait a little bit. Another 12 and another 6. And again, sell offer. 12 and 6. And yeah, let me just get these all up there. And the last two cookies. Uh, hopefully this is enough money, but I'm willing to spend another $100 if it isn't. And yeah, the skins are going for 30 mil now. So yeah, booster cookies are the exact same as skins. This is not good. But I mean, hey, we got a little bit of money to claim, 189 mil. So everything is sold and I'm up to 1.76 bill. I need a little bit more money. So I have successfully stomped another $100 down the drain. Time to spend it. And 
economy, we're just gonna do cookies again, because uh, the fire sale has kind of fallen in price, and cookies are just easier. So, 12, and, and oh, I need to swap lobbies. Yep, there we go, 16,000 gems. And we get 12, and 6, and we just repeat that a couple more times, and now we have a bazaar with a bunch of cookies in it. Alright, everything's sold again, and hopefully 2.1 bill is enough money. Hopefully. So, first thing we need to buy is going to be a Hellfire Rod. Actually, two of them. So, let me try to find a good deal. Preferably, I want Flash 5, so I feel like that would be very, very nice. So this one is decent. This is a trophy fishing rod. It seems to have all the things on it. There might be one that's a little bit cheaper. I think it's a 9-9 one. It's like 500 mil. It's 200 mil cheaper. This one's 10-10 for 575. Hold on, how much could I get Flash for if I did it myself? So Flash 1, 16 of those insta-buy would be 80 mil? That, that, that's like nothing. What? Why is it so much cheaper? Then. So, Fisherman Trophy Hunter, yeah, that's... Yeah, no, we're just gonna go with this one. 575 mil, and I'm gonna put Flash 5 on it myself. And, yeah, there we go. And then I said I would need a second Hellfire Rod. And this one is going to be for, you know, just regular lava fishing. Now, I want to see if I can get a good deal. I don't really want a 10-10 on this. I would be willing to go with 8-8. I mean, 620 mil for Flash 5, 8-8, that's not actually bad. But I don't know, let's look around a little bit. I don't know what a 9-9 one's going for, and yeah, they, they get really up there. Okay, so I think this one, where was it? Yeah, so double hook, fishing speed, both eight. Flash five, maxed out for 620 mil. We're just gonna go with this one. And there we go. Now I got both of my Hellfire rods. Now I'm not actually sure what the difference between Chomp and Kitchen is. I believe Chomp's a little bit better, but I'll ask somebody later. Now this one does need a little bit of fixing up. First of all, Blessing six. I don't know why that was not on there. And we will be removing Looting four because it looks ugly. And then I also need to get the expertise up, but that'll take like no time at all. All right, and then Flash on 16 of those for 80 million coins. And flash five. Now we'll be able to take this, put it on there, and 250 levels, and there we go. Also, looking at the reforges right now, I believe Hitchin does actually give more fishing speed. Or, no, never mind. Chomp actually gives more fishing speed. It's just I don't have fishing speed as a perk on this one. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and put Chomp on this other one then. Yeah, that's one million coins. Not bad at all. And then again, remove looting four. All right. And now we need to do a little bit of work on the armor. And by work, I mean actually buy it. I don't have fishing armor. So, Magma Lord, and we just, we're just gonna buy lowest bin because god roll for this is totally useless, and it's way too expensive for what it is, so 9 mil for the boots, and it's gonna be 14 mil for the helmet, 24 mil for the legs, and 28 mil for the chest plate. And so let's get these looking all good and nice and whatnot. So enchants, I'm not actually gonna put any on there as of right now. And now, ultimate enchants, we're actually gonna be going with Bob and Time 3, because Bob and Time 5 is really, really overkill. You really don't need much more than Bob and Time 3. Pretty much the only thing I'm going to put on this is Bob and Time, a Reforge, and a Recom, because anything else is either overkill or just makes it look less clean. Because, I mean, it looks very clean with just Bob and Time 3 on it. And then we're also going to need a Frozen Bobble to apply Festive, and, of course, a Recombobulator. And, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. So then we do the same thing over here, Bob and Time 3, Festive, and a Recombobulator. Another Bob and Time, a little bit more festivity, and upgrade, with lastly, the helmet with the exact same stuff. Bob and Time 3, Festive, and a Recom. And I must say, I really do like the color that the Magma Lord armor is, and it is just so nice. So now, one more thing, we're going to need a flying fish. And now, not any old basic stupid flying fish, <laughs> legendary level 100, yeah, who needs that. We're getting Mythic level 100. 335 million coins. Yeah, I get in my inventory. Oh, we get six Skyblock XP. Lovely. And now a little thing that's going to be a, a little bit overkill. We need to do the equipment. So, I mean, this is kind of a stupid decision, but I mean, we're just going to get this all the way up to Gill Splash, despite it not really being worth it and being pretty overkill. I mean, we might as well do it. So what all does this entail? It entails six Diamond Magma Fish. Lovely. So Diamond Magma Fish, if I were to buy six six of those, that would be 336 mil. What if I were to put in a buy order? That would save me quite a lot of money. Okay, let's see if a buy order will fill. So, turns out for Gill Splash, you need lava shells. A, a lot of them. I only have five. This is a little bit of a predicament. Okay, so for the time being, I guess I'm gonna cancel that order until I can go and get all those lava shells. And we're gonna go ahead and put some stuff on my hunter armor, because I'm gonna be doing a lot of trophy fishing, and this stuff's a little bit lacking. 
So yeah, pretty much we're just going to be putting Festive and a Recom on it. Really no point to put Bob in time or anything on it because you essentially never trophy fish with people. You do on rare occasions, but most of the time everybody's going for a slightly different fish. So there's just not much point. And that's the last one. And now it looks all pretty and nice and cool. And it can go straight back into the wardrobe where it belongs. And now the very last thing until I have a maxed fishing setup, I need to max an auger rod and this rod of the sea just so I can have a good setup for every single part of fishing. So for the rod of the sea, first of all, we're going to put expertise on it. I mean, there's not much point. I'm fishing 50 already and I don't need the extra XP, but we might as well. We're also going to remove looting. I do not know why I put that on there. And then Piscary 6, as well as Blessing 6, and Charm 5, which I apparently didn't have on there. It doesn't really do much on this because it's for trophy fishing, but might as well. And yeah, that's all I need to do to that. Putting Flash on it is a massive waste of money, so we're not going to do that. And now this auger rod needs quite a lot of work. So again, expertise and remove looting for blessing six. So I'll caster six. I didn't have that on there for whatever reason. Also corruption five and might as well again charm five. And it already has a reforge. So all we need is a recom and it is done. We have a rod for every part of fishing now. Anyways, since the last thing I need is just some lava shells, I think we're going to do a bit of trophy fishing and try to get those. And the crazy thing is that I'm already fishing 50. I'm surprised I don't have a bunch of lava shells already. I, I may have just gotten really unlucky. So we might as well start this with a daily. I need to fish up two mold fins. Got my hellfire. And yeah, we're just gonna come over here and start fishing. Well, after I buy a mushy glowy tonic, of course. So I currently have 274 fishing speed, which seems a little bit low. Uh, but I mean, hey, I don't have the max equipment. I can't judge it quite yet. It's not the final product. Anyways, hopefully this should be pretty fast. Oh yeah, no, I almost instantly attract a fish. Now I have been told to use fish bait with this, since I don't think you actually can get max speed while trophy fishing. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna sit here for a while and see if I can fish up some lava shells. Anyway, because I know editing me is gonna love this, why don't we do a montage of me catching trophy fish? I'm beginning to think that past me just hates future me or something. Yeah, I'm nervous on the surface, I look fine. My brain feels heavy, my traumatized mind. But someone said hi to me, and now there's just an argument going on. Someone just said, are you sexually frustrated? What kind of argument is this? But I know how to lie. I feel feelings that I can't describe. I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive. Whoa. I got a little bit bored of trophy fishing, so I decided to do some worm fishing with some iron. Men. Alright, so I just did about three hours of worm fishing. It was probably three hours, I didn't really keep track. Anyway, I've got a bunch of worm membranes, so let's see how much this is. So yeah, it's about 22.5 mil. Really not all that good, but I mean, what can I expect when I'm the only one there with a good fishing setup? So I've been trophy fishing for a little while, and uh, apparently lava shells are just really rare or something, and I got extremely unlucky during fishing 50, because five is way less than I should reasonably have. But it does turn out, after looking at some of the recipes, that five lava shells should be enough for at least one of the pieces. So this one needs six, this one right here only needs four, and this one only needs three. So at the end of the day, they all give the same amount of stats, and they all cost about the same amount of money. It really just is the lava shells. So I guess we'll go with the gloves first, since they're the cheapest. So we're gonna need two diamond magma fish, or 112 million coins. Oh boy. But if we put this up here, three lava shells, diamond magma fish, and a diamond magma fish, we get the gill splash gloves. Yeah, 100 mil for an extra five fishing speed, probably not worth it, but I mean, we have it now. Y'all, y'all, it finally happened. It finally happened. Look at that. Great catch. You caught a lava shell. It finally happened. It took like five hours, and I think I, how many of those do I need? I have three of those right now, and hold on, hold on. Gill splash. Yeah, so I need six for this one, and an additional four. I need ten of those, and I only have three. Uh, give me like a million years. Yo, hold on, hold on, we just got a new discovery. Oh, I got an obfuscated three gold. That is a new thing, and gets us a little bit closer to gold trophy hunter, actually. So if I look at my profile viewer, well, it's not showing up there, but there's only a couple more that I need golds on, actually. Honestly, I might go for gold trophy hunter. Yo, another one. 
I got another gold that I hadn't discovered. New discovery. Steaming hot flounder. Yeah, gold trophy hunter seems very attainable. My ADHD can't take this. I have been fishing for nearly four hours this morning, and I haven't gotten any single new thing. I haven't gotten a lava shell. I just want gold trophy hunter, lava shells. I, I just want everything. I, I, I have to tab out every five minutes or else I will probably flush my head down a toilet. Why did I sign up for this? I know I have severe ADHD. This is not a good mix. Also, might I point out that it has taken me less time to get a diamond mold fin than a gold one. The same thing with the volcanic stonefish. Look at that, 35 catches. I have a diamond. And I have been fishing for a gold mold fin for like the past two hours. I'm just going a little bit insane. Tiny bit, really. <laughs> Yeah, it happened. It happened. I caught another lava shell. Oh, that took like a another five hours since the last one. Yo, wait, wait, wait. It was it was a blessing too. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I just got two. Oh, I can craft another gill splash piece. Okay, so I'm not sure if I actually have enough money for another diamond. Um, so I guess all these gold magma fish, I might as well just sell those for 17 mil. And I, I should have enough money now. So diamond, they're 53 mil per. We're gonna need two of those. Okay, I like barely have enough money. 112 mil. Alright, and now we grab the lava shells, and I'm not sure which one it is. All right, so I have the gloves. Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one that needs four. So that's going to be the cloak. All right, so if we put this in up here, one, two, three, four, with some diamond magma fish, and there we go. We get the gill splash cloak. Now, I have two of the three pieces, and the last one I don't think I'm actually going to go for in this video because I would probably have to delay this video by several days to go and get it, and I just don't want to do that. So, I mean, I'll get it when I have all the lava shells because I'm going to be doing a lot of trophy fish. I just need to get this video out. But I do want to go for Gold Hunter, though. Oh, God, I just... Oh, oh, okay. Um, I just hit my monitor with my microphone. It's fine. But I, I just got another lava shell. I don't think that was a blessing one, but... Uh, two out of six now. So I've been fishing for a little while, and well, let me just open up my PV. I have 70 mold fins. I get a guaranteed gold at 100. I, okay, well, hopefully I get it before then, but this has taken me like six hours at this point. It's not good. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it finally happened. Oh, it finally happened. Oh, I got it. Got, got the gold mold fin. It happened. It happened. I, I did. I did. Ah, I, uh, uh, uh. Anyways, if I just PV myself, hold on, let's go to Trophy Fish. And yep, there we go. I'm done with Mold Fen. I definitely didn't get 20 off of Guaranteed, and it definitely didn't take me like seven hours. Anyway, I guess time to do Karate Fish next. I was also reminded a couple minutes ago that apparently the Kudra pet increases the odds of catching Trophy Fish, but only at Epic and above, and mine's currently rare. And I can't really run T5 Kudra to get comps to, you know, upgrade it. So I think we're going to do something a little bit funny. First of all, uh, we're just gonna take out a loan for myself, and then we're gonna go to the AH, and how much is a tier boost? It's 73 mil, but I think it'll be worth it. It'll just speed up this grind a lot. 73 mil on a tier boost, and then we're gonna go ahead and collect that, and we're just gonna go over here, and my Kudra pet, very nice, and, and just click on that, and there we go. And, well, it disappeared for whatever reason, but there it is, level 100 Kudra, and we get the perk Trophy Bait. Increases the odds of fishing trophy fish by 20%. So this should just speed it up by a rather significant margin. Oh, oh okay. Uh, and immediately after that, I, I caught a lava shell. Wait, I think it may have gotten blessing. Hold on, let me check this. No, it did not, but I caught another lava shell. Only another three that I need. What? What did I- Ah! What? What? I. What? I just got a diamond manta ray. What? It wasn't even fishing for that. I was fishing for karate. What? Okay. Got that in a 180 manta rays, by the way. Yo. Got another lava shell, and I think it may have gotten blessinged too. Hold on. Oh yeah, I've got five now. It did get blessinged. Uh, well, if I catch one more before I get gold trophy fisher, I guess I can craft the last guild splash piece. I'm sorry. What? There, there's, there's, there's no way. Okay, so I have a steaming hot flounder diamond in my inventory. New discovery. Steaming hot flounder diamond. I was doing dailies. I wasn't... I, I, I'm just doing dailies. Why does this keep happening? I've gotten three diamonds while doing dailies. Uh, 
okay. Like, look at that. I just need two steaming hot flounders. And, and this was my second catch of trying to go and do this daily. I am dumbfounded. Oh, um, well, something kind of just funny. I mean, I've already caught this, but I I, I just caught a diamond lava horse. I already have one, but I guess I have another one now. Wait, I just, I, oh, oh, I just caught the last lava shell, I think. Yep, there we go. I got six lava shells. So I wasn't planning on an expense like this, but I guess we take another loan from myself. And then I also got a little bit of stuff in my inventory, which I'm just going to go ahead and sell. But now if we take this snowy fin wave bell, go to the bazaar and we search for diamond, diamond magma fish, and we're just going to need two of these again. I believe these go on either side with that right there. And then we just split these in half. Or is this down here? Yep, there we go. And we get the snowy gill splash belt. And yeah, that's it for the fishing equipment. Now there is technically an upgrade to the Thunderbolt necklace, but the only difference between the Magma Lord necklace and the Thunderbolt necklace is 0.5 sea creature chance. And I just don't care that much. So I'm gonna be keeping this one. So I've been karate fishing for a while and I have 92 out of the 100 that I need for pity. I was hoping this wouldn't take this long, but it looks like I need to fish up another eight in order to get the pity gold. Why? 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 I got another- I got another lava horse diamond. I got a third one. Why? I am three off of pity, whatever fish, karate fish. I'm, I'm three off the pity. I've gotten two diamond lava horses in that time. Why couldn't it have just given me a gold karate fish? Please. Okay, so I just caught another karate fish. I only need one more until I get the pity gold. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I've been fishing for, I think, about nine hours at this point. So, a little bit of an issue. Oh, uh, it finally happened. Oh, uh, goodness. New discovery. Karate fish gold. It happened. That took way too long. Yep, there we go. I got the pity one, and I'm gonna be honest, that took me like a day and a half to do, and I have vanilla and slugfish left, which are not much better, so I don't think I'm gonna be getting gold hunter in this video. Let's try out some other types of fishing. So now that I'm burnt out on trophy fishing and giving it up for, who am I kidding, like two days, I want to try a couple other methods of fishing. The first is going to be carrot king fishing. Essentially, all you need for this is a whole bunch of carrot bait and then you just go do things spawn in a funny rabbit and then you kill it and you get the chance of dropping a lucky clover core this is like one of the three methods of fishing that actually make a decent amount of money the others being worm fishing and yeti fishing but just plain lava fishing and jabba's fishing making an honorable mention uh, but let's try to go fish with some carrot kings now the setup for this isn't particularly complex it's just the usual Magma Lord, Gill Splash, Flying Fish, and of course, a Rod of the Sea. Now, where you fish also doesn't matter too much. Personally, I'm just going to do the old classic and just barn fish. So, I'm going to do this for an hour and see what I get. Also, since the Lucky Clover Core should be a magic find drop, we're going to be full sorrow swapping, as well as using a Chimera 5 Daedalus Axe, because, I mean, this definitely is an overkill. So, I have actually been told that you can use a Rabbit Axe on this, which increases the drops by two. Now, I'm not actually sure if this would be better than my Kaim 5 day axe because Kaim 5 I will be dropping them more often but I won't have the chance to double them so I guess first one that I fish up I'm gonna kill it with a Kaim 5 day axe and I just want to see what the chances are and whatnot and I may swap to rabbit axe later oh okay so I just fished up a carrot king and I accidentally killed it because I was trying to hype a squid and I fished it up at the same time I hyped uh, but I guess we can look at the best bestiary now so first of all I mean I got a rabbit hat from it I don't think that's particularly rare or anything. So Lucky Clover Core is 0.66%, so it is fairly rare. So I think it might actually be better to use my Day Axe, just because most people who are doing this do not have, like, a ridiculously OP Magic Vine setup, which is why they're using the Rabbit Axe. So I, yeah, I think we'll just stick with this. All right, so I just got a Carrot King, so I'm going to go equip Magic Find, and we will swap to a Greg. Now, where is it? Yep, there we go. Carrot King, and well, we get the best series leveled up, and did we get a Lucky Clover Core? We did not. Yo, Carrot King. Hold on, let me swap. All right, and we get nothing. I think I'm just going to montage the rest of this hour. <laughs> Clover Core. Only 239% magic find, but finally got one. Shh. 
So we got the last Carrot King of the Hour, and slap that, and we, we get absolutely nothing. I also realized that Sorrow Swapping is annoying, so I think the Rapid Axe will just be better because it's significantly less annoying. Anyways, in this hour, I ended up getting uh, just eight Rabbit Hats and a single Lucky Clover Core. So overall, this was not very productive. I made five million coins in an hour, which I can kind of see why this is good for early game players. But me, with a 37 billion coin net worth, there's a lot more better ways I could make money. Anyway, Jerry Island's open right now. Let's try Yeti fishing. Now the setup for this is no different other than swap out the Rod of the Sea for an Augur Rod, which overall it increases the chance of you to spawn winter sea creatures and it just breaks the ice, so it's kind of convenient. Okay, okay, I caught a Yeti. Anyway, we need to just go ahead and Magic Vine swap, and there we go. And I guess, I don't know, might as well grab my Magic Vine equipment too. And now we do the little killing thing, and do we get a Yeti pet? We do not get a Yeti pet. So it looks like Baby Yeti's 3% for an Epic and 0.8 for a Legendary. Anyway, let's do this for an hour. And no, I will not be montaging it, because I'm not editing another montage. No. Yeah, whoa, 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 I got a baby Yeti. Ledge one. Um, it's an amount of coins. It is 18.5 million. I got a range rate. Hold on. Is it hits based or damage based or both? Hold on, let me put on my tear. Well, this is interesting. I was not expecting to catch a range rake. At least spawning a range rake is actually quite a lot of money. It's got to be almost dead, right? My, my hand kind of hurts. Oh, there we go. It died. My timer for the hour went off the second that it died. Uh, so that was certainly interesting. Anyways, uh, the timer actually went off like the second that rain drake died. Uh, but anyway, so I got a prosperity one, a water hydra head, which is worth a lot for some reason. I also got a legendary baby yeti, so about 19 mil, so about 20 mil in the inventory so far. And I have 17 mil in my sacks from hunks of blue eyes red gifts, etc. So overall, I made nearly 40 mil an hour Yeti fishing, which I, I believe it is actually the most profitable thing to do when fishing, if I am not mistaken. Now, it is significantly more profitable with a party, but it just goes to show how profitable it can be considering I did nearly 40 mil an hour solo. Granted, I have nearly max gear, but still, that's a decent chunk of change. Lastly, I just want to do a little bit of Jabba's fishing. I've never fished up a Jabba's before because, well, I hit fishing 50 with a bar Hellfire, and it'll probably take me a lot longer than an hour to fish up a single Jabba's, but I don't know, let's try it. I'm gonna do it for an hour. If I don't get one, then I will just fish until I get a Jabba's. So yeah, the hour ended and I have not caught a Jabba's. This may take a while. Give me, I, I don't know, like two hours. I also forgot to mention that if you are Jabba's fishing, you should be using whale bait. Although if you're just going for bestiary or something, there's really no detriment to just using fish bait. But if you are fishing 50 like me, you should probably be using whale bait just so you can get those extra Jabba's. Oh boy. I spawned a Jabba's. Okay, hold on. Let me kill all of this. And yeah, hold on. It yeah, we we need to we need to do some things. Hold on. So first of all, put on mage stuff and this. And I'm gonna grab my magic line equipment. And we're just gonna there we go. And now we're just gonna you know put put that right there and type Jabba's in all chat. And now we just go through and hopefully kill it. Now I have never tried killing any Jabba's before, but uh, apparently it's hard. Y yep, it, it's pretty hard. I I'm pretty sure I just get one tapped almost immediately. Yeah yeah, this is gonna take a second. I'm also gonna. Gonna try to grab my day axe and and these people can just kill it. Yep, there we go. It is down Lord Jabba's 2. And did I get anything? So I got a Magma Lord fragment, which means in about an hour and 20 minutes of fishing, I made 4 mil. Jabba's fishing is not very good solo. Yeah, and that's about it. I don't really know what you expected out of a fishing video. I don't know if you expected it to go longer, but it's done. Venice, I spent a bunch of money on fishing and then got burnt out of fishing because that is something I should have expected to happen. Anyway, there should be a video on my face right now. Like, subscribe, all those good things, and go watch that video. It's good. Trust me. I need more watch time. Desperately.